So now let's finish this guy up. First up is we can go look at the front and let's put the key ring hole in here. So I'm gonna start a sketch on the rec the square this time. I'm gonna draw a circle. I think this circle should be 0.125, so I'm gonna dimension it. And I want it 0.125 from the center to this edge here. And from this edge here. He's fully locked in place. That's a nice center point. That's a nice center circle. I'm gonna finish the thing. I'm going to hit extrude. I'll select this object, remove, distance, all through all, check, and now I have a key ring hole. While we're here, let's also round the edges. I'm going to put it to an isometric view. I'm going to grab the fillet tool and select each of the corners. Select this edge, this edge, this edge, and I'm going to rotate around so I can select this edge. And let's make these 0.1, so a little more pointy. Tab key to help update, eh, maybe 1.15. Notice I can sort of play with it so it looks right. My drawing was just the starting point. So the last piece we need to do is our text. So I'm going to start a sketch on the rectangle again. I'm going to go over to the text tool. I'm going to click to create text. And the text is say smile. And it's going to be bold. And the size is not going to be here. Uh, open Sans is fine for a font. There are some other fonts, but not a huge number. So I'm going to hit check. And now this can be dimensioned just like any other object. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take and dimension off the bottom and make it 0.05 off the edge. I also want this center point lined up with the center here. So I'm going to use a vertical constraint to grab this line here, that midline, in the center of my thing. So that's centered. And now I can dimension the top and down to be 0.15. So I take a second while it figures that out. I may can go 0.2 even. At some point, nope, 0 0.2 is too big. So 0.175. That looks really good. It's centered there. I can now finish this sketch and I can extrude and I will select each of the letters individually as its own object. Now I could cut these all the way down. I'll switch to so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm gonna switch. Okay, so those are all there. The only problem, so I want to definitely, I'm going to bring these in a little bit, so I'm going to remove. Now, if I cut these all the way through, the big issue is the E would no longer, when I printed this, this E would just fall out, the center would fall out. So what we're going to do is instead, we're going to take and uh, select a depth of point, uh, 0.05. And that way it's cut in, but not all the way through. Checkbox. And now I have the text in there and I have a complete smile key ring. 